Welcome everybody to the 815 off-road compound. I'm gonna go out and uh, do a little messing around today by myself because uh, no one else is able to make it. It's flurrying a little bit. It's about 20 degrees out. We got eight, nine, possibly even 10 inches of snow. So we're gonna go out and mess around, make a little, make a little video and just have some fun. This is what it looks like out here right now. I mean, there's just uh, snow everywhere piled up. And uh, I'm gonna head out there to the pond, see how that's looking, being that we had all kinds of uh, rain right before the snow and then the temperature dropped and all that. So it had a good solid three to four inches of rain, slush, everything on top of the ice. So we're gonna go break through a few more drifts and see how the ice conditions are. We got, uh, we got the machines in here ready to go, but just me for today. So I'll see what I can do. Well, I just got out to the pond. I figure I'd show you what we're dealing with. Uh, obviously we were just out here a couple days ago, uh, right after the snow. We had already been through all these drifts, but uh, they're back because we've had a lot of wind. I'm gonna show you right now what this is like. I mean, this area right here is huge, very deep. I don't even know if I'll make it through there by myself. So I don't even know if I'm gonna try, but uh, this stuff's pretty crazy. I mean, you can see right right here, look at that right there. That's, uh, that's up to my waist, but I'll see what I can do. Oh, it's very solid, so that's good. We were going down right there and there that's all very drifted over. Oh man, this is uh, this is rough. This might not be a great idea being out here by myself, but at least all the slushy stuff on the bottom is frozen. I mean, it's, it's rock solid, so that's good. That's a nice straight drop off there. No drifting on this end, obviously, because the wind was coming from the other side. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna give it a whirl. I'm gonna try and get through a couple of these spots over here. And uh, I guess if I don't make it, I go back and get the other side by side and uh, pull myself out. So here goes. That kind of shortens up my day because uh, now my left foot is completely soaked all the way down. Well, everyone watching, this is a perfect example of why you probably don't want to go alone. Luckily, uh, the other machines were in that building right there. So I walked back, got my wife's. She's got some nice 32 inch uh, XTR 370s. And uh, I'm sitting back out at the pond and I'm going to attempt, oops, sorry. I'm gonna go attempt to get mine out. There's mine buried right there. Uh, didn't make much, uh, much progress trying to go the other way, but at least I do have another machine to go attempt to pull it out. So I had to go back, get the toe strap, the other machine. I'm gonna attempt to pull that out right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 
obviously this is why you probably don't want to go out alone not too fun i'm trying to shoot video and pull out a stuck side by side and not break through the ice like i already did so we'll see what i can do by myself uh otherwise i'll probably have to call in some reinforcements but here we go